So let us go after a pyramid. And let's play with a hexagonal pyramid. Um, now, they give us a side, and they give us a slant length. We need to remember that there are a couple of dimensions that are important when they're doing surface area volume. Depending on what they give us, it one's easy and one takes a little bit more steps. Um, side of B, you know, that's kind of important. We're going to need to know that distance A, which is kind of like the height of a triangle. We're going to need to know uh, the height of the shape is involved in the volume. So if we want volume, we're going to be nice if they gave us that. We can calculate it if they don't, as long as they give us, you know, a couple other things. Then there's that slant height, that S, that is involved in surface area because it's a uh, Part of the triangle that makes up the side so you know they're not going to give us everything we're going to have to do some trig some pythagorean theorem to find some of the pieces we need so surface area we've got a let's see this is a hexagonal pyramid so we got one hex and we've got six triangles All right, let's look at six triangles. We've got the right numbers for the six triangles. We know that it's 15 inches up the middle of the triangle and it's perpendicular, so that must be the height of the triangle. And we know that that's 10. So we've got the base and the height of the triangle. So one half BH, one half 10 times 15, five times one half 10, 75, right? Then how many of those are there? Well, there's six of those. Um, so what's six times 75? 153 and a 450, right? Centimeters squared. Because 275 is 150, another 150 is 300, another 150. Um, okay. Now we need uh, the hex. Well, they only give us one thing on the hex. So, remember, we've got to break a hex up into triangles. All right. Let's break our hex up into triangles. Uh, again, the sides were what? They were 10. We're going to break it up into triangles. I will have six equal triangles. That side's 10. We're going to find that height because that's going to be a perpendicular distance. Well, again, six equal triangles means that that's a 60 degree angle. Because they're regular, we're going to bisect things. So we're going to come up with this triangle that's five and it's H tall. Yeah, no, I went over a little bit there. It's H tall and again, bisecting, that's a 30 degree angle. Trig. We know an angle, we know a side, we've got to find another side. That's trig. Uh, sine and cosine want the hypotenuse. We want nothing to do with the hypotenuse. We don't need it. Um, so we don't even know it. So we want to use tangent. So tangent 30 equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 5 over h. Well, let's cross multiply. h tan 30 equals 5, divide both sides by tan 30 to get it away from h. We've got h equals 5 over tangent of 30. So h equals 5 divided by tangent 30. 5 divided by tangent 30. 8.66. Awesome. So now we know that this red line is 8.66. So we can find the area of this triangle because it's one half base times height. One half length of the base, length of the height. So one half 10 
times 8.66. One half times ten times eight point six six forty three point three. We got six of those though. Times six. Times six. Two fifty nine point eight. So our hex is two hundred and fifty nine point eight. We need to take that back to the other side. Hex, 259.8 centimeters squared. So, area of the hex, 259. Area of the sides, which is another kind of six triangles, um, 450. Add those together. Plus 450. 709.8 centimeters squared. So, uh, we had to break up into triangles. Pyramids have triangles. You need a length of a base and the height of the triangle. Now, notice in our drawing here, we don't have the height of the shape. That's okay if you're just doing surface area. You need the height of the shape when you're doing volume. Sometimes they give you that, and you've got to find you know, where the 15 is. Well, you know, it's just Pythagorean theorem kind of thing. All right, surface area. Bunch of triangles.